Adam in the garden was sent to keep it right. But the length of time he stayed there, I believe it was one night. But of his own labour, I call it not his due. For soon he lost his garden, and went to hold the plough. For Adam was a ploughman, when ploughing first began. The next that did succeed him, was Cain the eldest son. Some of that generation, the calling now pursue. That bread may not be wanting, remains the painful plough. Samson was the strongest man, and Solomon was wise. Alexander, for to conquer, was all his daily prize. King David, he was valiant, and many thousands slew. But none of these great heroes could live without the plough. O ploughman, says the gardener, don't count your trade with ours. There's a walking in the garden to view the early flowers. There's all the curious borders and pleasant walks to view. There is no such contentment promoted by the plough. sails on foreign seas to bring forth gold and treasure for those who live at ease that brings the fruit and spices silks and dainties too they are brought from the indies by virtue of the plough so come all you jolly ploughmen of courage, stout and bold, that labour all the winter in stormy wind and cold, to clothe the fields in plenty, your farmyards to renew, and crown them with content.